Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Mason County and welcome back to Deep Sky Farms. We're here on the 2nd of March and you'll notice that we're starting out in a little different area than we usually do. I finally got myself together and moved us down to the farmhouse that you get whenever you buy the trailer park. So right now we are right here, right at the very entrance to the property. I still have uh, the list item of putting in a house up on top of the hill, the big house. That's going to be fun. But for now, I wanted to move us down closer to the farm. And here we are. I've uh, added ourselves a little shed to put some of our toys in. And I've added a small greenhouse, a kitchen greenhouse, right back here. And you can see we've got another shed that's locked mm -hmm. and I'm guessing this is septic anyway and uh, it's got a pretty good direct path going over here in towards the trailer park so this is going to come in handy once we start working this area and expanding this up so that's where we are mm -hmm. where do we want to be is the next question yeah let's if we clean that up we have a little driveway through there Cool. And I'll see what I can and I'll see what I can do about this house actually. Maybe we tear this down. Save ourselves a whole lot of heartache we're trying to do terra farming or yeah, terra farming. And uh just build ourselves a spot in here. Tear all this out and away we go again. Anyway, so we got a bunch of stuff that we should be doing. We got a bunch of stuff that we could be doing, and we got a bunch of stuff that I want to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have time to do all three of them. So we're going to pick <laughs> pick one, maybe two. Let's hop into the old third here and have a drive down. Oops. There we go. You'll see uh, that I cleaned it all up for us for today. <laughs> um, yeah. I also did a little bit of work around here. Oh, we've got a pallet of honey there. That's ready to go. I got some bins and some uh, augers there. That's going to be for so um, solid fertilizer and lime. I added this shed here to give our Kubota a little bit of shelter and our little forklift some shelter. Those IBCs, those are fruit and vegetable fertilizer for the big greenhouses, the three big, big greenhouses. These greenhouses here, I've topped them all off with water and pallets and manure. I did a run up to the uh, to the pig barn, got that all sorted out. It looks like we have some apples left over from last year, and I believe, let's have a quick look here. Yeah, our apples are running. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna change that output mode to storing and change that out mode to storing uh because where i am i don't know if it's like this where you are but where i am apples don't produce all year and we've got compost going through there too that's good uh apples don't produce all year uh we get a big haul in uh mid to late august and uh, into a little bit of early september and that's just the way they are so unless I go in and rewrite the code for this so that they're only active in August, uh, I think the more realistic way to run these is to have them producing only in... Uh, they'll produce, but they're storing. So that'll kind of simulate the growth process. But they're really nice looking. And speaking of compost, what's our composter up to here? I added one down by the house, but I haven't put anything in it yet. The new house. All right, so we got a little bit. Uh, we got 431 liters of compost in there, and we've got manure going in. So I did do a run up to the barn. And the way that I've got this set up is with the... There we go. Let's see if I can get it on and loading. Start the engine, turn it on. There we go. So the way that I've got it set up, this particular item here, the composter, the trigger's on top instead of on the front. 
<laughs> which is again something that I need to change maybe uh, I need to either add another trigger or set up a, a different trigger on this so that uh, you can just dump a pile of grass beside it and it'll load it in for now I've got this uh, belt here it works okay it, it does the trick uh, so I can just roll up in front of the belt dump it in and it'll feed it in a little at a time so I'm going to take the apples out of there and oh the other big thing that I wanted to show you is remember the trees that we planted they uh, they popped up rather quickly so we've got some uh, nice shade coming in here for our baby animals the baby animals we've got some nice shade coming in here in our pasture and uh, I figure a couple more months and those will start to get some pretty decent height and I res oh I reserve the right <laughs> to uh, plant more that's a duck underwater uh, oh I also discovered uh, sort of accidentally this morning is that you can draw water from this pond here and I it gave me an idea there's uh, an add-on for the manure system that's a water pump and I want to figure out how it works so Mason County is going to kind of evolve from being a let's play RP whatever P thing it is uh, it's going to turn into a test bed uh, and also we've got uh, a missing building here sad story left the heater on one night and it burned to the ground no that's not what happened uh, what happened was I was uh, experimenting with the productions on it and I messed something up and we had about nine million dollars worth of workbenches in there and I figured mm, we have enough problems getting rid of money here anyway <laughs> so let's not uh, let's not make our problems any harder um, so yeah I, I'm trying to keep it sort of reasonable I mean I could just uh, use uh, easy development controls to give myself an infinite amount of money but I don't want to do that similarly I don't want to give myself an infinite amount of money by scripting it into something so I need to go in balance it out and we'll put that back because it's kind of a cool production uh, now speaking of money we do have a pile of stuff around here I took you around through the firewood processing last time uh, we played with the big blue thing it's over in another part of the map right now I'm and we have our red thing here the red firewood processor now the cool thing about the red firewood processor is that there's already a firewood production on the map it's up in the forest we're gonna go buy it eventually well, I, and go buy it, I mean drive by it. I mean, we already own it. We don't have to pay money for it. So we're going to drive by it eventually. And there was an episode from another content creator. They were doing firewood and they were having issues with trying to sell their firewood because they were using a production point from one mod and the sell point from another mod. And what they ran into, um, the reason it didn't work for them, was the fill types on the two things were different uh, because the mods were created by two different creators what one specified as a fill type for firewood it might have been fire underscore wood and the other one might have been just firewood uh, it was actually not it was in French they didn't match up so what came out of one firewood production didn't sell in the other firewood production luckily for us, this firewood here matches the firewood that's built into the map. It's spelled the same way, so it works. So that means what we're going to try today is we're going to haul this load of firewood down to the store, and we're going to sell it off. Or at least that's the theory. We're also going to grab uh, these apples. We're going to say these are left over from last fall and they've been sitting in storage and that's fine because uh, apples will keep for a long time if you store them the, the right way you know I, I remember reading about apples and uh, in places in the south where they would take and they would store their apples in piles of straw out in the field 
and they would keep over winter because the temperature was good. So we're just going to kind of wave our hands and say that's what happened here. So we'll grab our little forklift. Let go. Uh, that Pioneer Pro Box, that works with the augers, by the way. I tested that out. I know that works. This doesn't have a Meneer system connection on it. I want to put a Meneer system connection on it. Just because. I'm kind of digging that, uh, th that whole thing. I played with it on another map. Maybe I should do a special episode of just a Meneer system roundup because there's a lot of cool stuff that's been released and created since I last did that video. So we'll start here with our honey. I'll throw that on the trailer. And then we'll grab the apples and throw those on the trailer. And I will remember this time that I have uh, Universal Auto Load on that trailer and it's just going to rip this right off the forks as soon as I get up to it. Could I place these on there manually? Probably. You've seen what that causes, though. There. This is a little bit tidier. And accomplishes basically the same thing, and it moves things along quicker. There we go. And no, this isn't going to be a forklift day. I don't think. There's stuff that I want to do. There's stuff that I have to do, or that I should be doing. Yep. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> I mean, what, what are we going to do, right? We're pushing the game engine to its max. Let's see if these just place right in there. And come to think of it, I haven't tested this to see if the apples will sell at the grocery store. I'm assuming they will. But we're going to find out. This whole, this map, because there's so many productions on it, it's one great big test bed. It's a learning experience. We all like learning experiences, right? Oh. So I did take a little break this week from playing the map and doing background work. And I've been messing around with other maps. I'm seeing other maps. I'm committing adultery on Mason County. No, never mind. Just ignore me. I'm fine. Um, no, I've been checking out other maps uh, that have diverse production chains to see how they do that. They do it. Because every modder has a different idea of what story they want to tell with their map and some you know some modders it's their first map some modders have a lot of experience under their belt and that's reflected in what kind of a map you're playing some hit it out of the park on the first run so what i wanted to do was just you know check it out because i found i was playing the same map over and over and over again and I wanted to kind of broaden my perspective on what I was doing. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Yeah, we're going to call that good here. And this can stay here for now. That looks reasonably secure-ish. You know, I think I should have loaded the apples on first and then the honey, and then we would have been just fine. Anyway, we're going to go to the grocery store uh, out along the highway. I'll meet you all down there. Okay, here we are. Let's spin ourselves in here, cut that off. And uh, on the drive over, I realized a couple of things. The one thing that I realized was that I really dislike driving this vehicle. <laughs> it's super unstable. It was fishtailing all the way up here and just generally being annoying. So I think I'm going to do something about that. I may resign this one to doing an auto drive run in the quarry or something. But uh, anyways, it's, um, 
It's no fun to drive it when it's sliding all over the road. Okay, so let's undo our belts and we're just gonna roll up here and see what we can sell here. Because bear in mind, the apple trees are from a mod not made by the map maker. Uh, the honey production, that's default. And the firewood is from a different mod by a different maker. So let's see what we got here. Okay, it's taking the apple, it's taking everything. Fair enough. I love it when stuff works together like that and we don't have to manually intervene in it. Is it going to take that one that's tipped over or do I have to manually intervene in it? Oh, cool. All right. This is working. This is working. How much are we getting? I see the numbers ticking up. Up, 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 up. What do we got? So about $5,200. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's a good... That's a good load. Okay, so we are at the grocery store. We're going to take a swing by our sawmill and see what's going on down there. I'm not sure what to do about this truck, though. You know what? Let's, um, before we go to the sawmill, let's go up and see what's available at the store. I'll meet you up there. Okay, here we go. We're in a different truck. I picked up <laughs> this thing. Well, this thing. It's the TLX 3500. I figured I'd give it a try. It's even more obnoxiously loud than the Ford, so, you know. But, uh, oh, she, she moves along pretty good. We'll see how stable it is, because, like I say, the biggest complaint that I had from the Ford was you'd get going around a corner and the, the back end of it would just kick out on you. Uh, we'll take a quick shortcut through here. This is our foundry uh, that we need to get going, and we will. We will get the foundry going. We need to get the quarry going. So the whole reason for this was to come down and check out the sawmill and see what's up here. I'm pretty sure I have it set to spawning, and I know there's a bunch of stuff back here. Oh, and it looks like there's some dry wood at the wood dryer. I mean, that's where you would expect it, right? Oh, okay, so we got a bunch of stuff here. What's our, uh, what's our status? So we got a pile of planks, some here and some at the other one. And we've got planks long, oh, planks long and wood beam. Their best month is in uh, March right now. Uh, same thing with bark and sawdust and dry lumber. Oh, we can sell dry lumber at the grocery store. Interesting. Okay, let's make a load out of here then. Uh, we've got wood beams right there and planks along over on the other side. All right, let's give this thing a workout. I might have to go into the XML for this and turn it down because I find it rather loud. Or I could just turn the mic down. All right. Burk, 20 yards. Let's take what we got and we'll find out what our capacity is on this because I don't think I checked when I bought it. 16. So it's a little bit more than the Ford. I think the Ford was 15. And we're going to take these planks, the long plank, we're going to load those up. I haven't put a forklift here yet. So we're going to do it the, uh, we're going to do it the universal auto way. I'm not sold on this truck either. <laughs> But it does drive better than the other one, so fine. OK. 
Okay. I'll grab a couple of these. See if we can grab a couple more of these. Yeah, totally legal. No problem. And uh, where did it say we were going with those? Uh, barge. Most, it mostly split between barge and train, so let's go to the barge. Only because I haven't figured out how the train works on here. I tried it once, it didn't work for me. And I kind of forgot about it. So that's going to be another experiment for another day. All right, and you've all seen me drive to the barge. I'll let you know how I make out when I get down there. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are at the barge and we're going to, we're going to barge cell point two, which is the one up on the tracks. So let's uh, go to the outside camera. It's a little bit rough going through here. And uh, okay, so we got, So 40 plus 8 plus 5, 48, $53,000 from our wood product. And I'm going to get you over to that and dump a load of bark here. Because if we can sell it, we might as well. Financing the purchase of future toys. Actually, what we should be using this for, and we probably will, is we're going to finance. I mean, hey, 10 grand for a load of bark. Uh, we're going to use this to finance the purchase of the quarry and that production chain. I'd like to get that up and going. Oh my god, that's so loud. Actually, it might not be loud. It just might be that my headphones are turned up a bit too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back down to the wood dryer. Now, the problem with the wood dryer is that, number one, I don't have a forklift there, which is fine because auto load will load this. I have a forklift there. But the other problem is uh, that the pallets when they go on at the wood dryer is they go on sideways onto this trailer. So that makes it really awkward. The last time I hauled a load of, out of the wood dryer, I took out three cars, two mailboxes, a fence, and three cows. But what, so we don't want to do auto load. And I don't feel like running all the way back to the farm and picking up the flatbed uh, because the deck trailer it's got auto load on it too and I don't really feel like buying a deck trailer special just for that production although it may come to it and it's not like we're hurting for cash uh, but we're gonna grab this here quickly uh, because this is actually too small for this production so we're going to move this forklift up to the other, or we're going to move this up to the wood dryer and see how it works. And I'm going to uh, attempt something. I'm actually going to test out another truck. That's what I'm going to do. Because I saw one in the store and I was like, yeah, we'll give that a try. But it doesn't have auto load on it. So, all right. Okay, that ought to do it. I sort of like this truck. It's not bad. I mean, it's obviously not a real brand, but then again, I don't think we're going for a hyper-realistic RP on this series anyway. But she drives nice. And, uh, 
doesn't skate all over the road. I wonder, I wonder what the cause of that is. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it. I would need to quit my job and do farm sim full time in order to build all the things that I want to build. And unfortunately, I'm not getting paid enough to do that, or I'm not getting paid to do farm sim. But if you want to help with that, if you want to help me do farm sim full time, uh, give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you really like what we're doing. All right, we'll see you back up at the... Oh, we're almost there. But we'll see you back up there anyway. Okay, so question answered. <laughs> Is will this forklift lift a bundle of dry lumber? So we're going to try and haul it with this thing. This is a new mod on the Mod Hub, relatively. Uh, I forget who did it. it. Is this actually too long for this bed? Well, you know what? We're going to try it anyway. Yeah, that's totally legal. Totally not sketchy at all. Uh, I forget who did it. Uh, they said they were doing it as an experiment in playing with Substance Pater. I think it might have been Seb Croto, but don't get me, don't quote me on that. It is in the, the Lizard, or the, it's in the Giants Mod Hub. Okay, so this forklift is only just picking those up. So I think this may go across the way to... This may go across the way to the, the sawmill and we get ourselves something a little bit bigger for here. I'm digging that dump truck though. It's all right, but we're going to see how this thing drives. see if we can give the front a little shove straighten it out a little bit and this is why <laughs> this is why I don't want to do a, turn this into forklift simulator all right we're gonna call that good enough we're only going around the corner anyway because this is going to a residential sale I think or no this is going to the uh, going to the grocery mart Dry lumber is going to grocery mart. All right, throw the straps on. So 2.1 tons. And a terrible loading job by me, but whatever. As Looney Farm Guy says, it's only a game. Actually, it's not too bad. I've done worse. Oh, this sounds good. Okay, and grocery mark is down here. So even with it, oh, it's a little bit bouncy. I was gonna say even with it uh, heavy on the tail end like that, it steers. The steering's not bad. So we're at. We started out at three hundred and something. So we've made about a hundred thousand in deliveries today ish let's see what we get for this it's, it's a little bit flaky I have to kind of take my time with it alright let's watch oh it has a backup camera that's so cool $30,000 for two stacks of dry lumber that's okay. Now, three speed, three on the tree. Does she rip? 
Oh yeah, she rips pretty good. You know, I think I'm going to leave this at the sawmill for just trucking stuff around. And maybe what I'll do is I'll pick up the... Uh, I've got the Great Dane and for uh, with autoload on it. Maybe I'll pick up the Benson because it has a busted version of autoload. Or I can take autoload off of it. Yeah, let's just park this right here. Bang into it. Scratch? <laughs> what scratch on the bumper? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. And we're going to scoot our little forklift over here. And park it over here. And then... I'm going to head back to the house. Let me get this sorted out. Okay, so we're back here at the original start farm, and I'm looking around at this. I want to turn this into a production area eventually. Uh, and by eventually, I mean sooner rather than later. And I'm just looking at what we've got here for stuff. And I'm taking into account the fact that we have basically an infinite money glitch with that sawmill set up now. And I'm thinking if we want to get rid of this, I'm looking at this and I'm like, I've never used any of this stuff. And we don't really need that house anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to, rather than move it, we're going to sell it. So we're going to sell that. You know, because there's a hundred grand in sheds here, right? And can I hit this one? Yep. Okay, so we sold off 100 grand worth of sheds, more or less. And then we can go into our menu here and uh, actually this pump, I'm going to get rid of that too because it was kind of in the way. Uh, the cedar never used it and you know what if we need it we'll buy it again uh, that's already at new place uh, this wind rower mighty nice okay uh, we'll keep the Vermeer yeah okay so that clears that out And that, I'm not super crazy about it. It didn't, uh, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Oh, uh, and we need to pick up a skid steer because I've, because I've got ADD. Um, this caros, okay, we're going to get rid of the joker. Uh, same thing with the spader. Never actually used it. It seemed like a good idea, but I never used it. A cultivator, the Harrows, they're amazing. And I've got a subsoiler sitting here somewhere. Oh, plow. Yeah, sell the Salford. Canadian company. Uh, I might use that on another map. So we've cleaned all of this area up here. Nice. Nice. I'm going to keep the combine, though. Because uh, it is a nice combine, and apparently it can be used with um, a different header on it. Uh, now, what was the reason that I came up for other than that? That was pretty much it. Oh, you know what? I think... Uh It's got 104 bushels of wheat in it. All right. Uh, 
Okay. Fine. So now we're $652,000. We can buy the quarry if we want. And we just might. And we probably will. So what I'm thinking for this area here... I've got a couple of different options. We're going to move this truck out of the way. And uh, we're going to look at a couple of things and then we're going to wrap it up because we've been running a little bit longer than I planned. Park out here in the middle of our abandoned field. Uh, one thing that I kind of want to do is buy these three fields and connect them together and make it one big grass field. But we've got a big grass field back at the trailer park, so, you know. Uh, we've got productions. And the one production I was looking at, it goes with the I think, uh, orchards and greenhouses. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? This needs to happen, too. Uh, because as much as I like doing, uh, we have a pallet production already, uh, but it takes wood chips uh, to do it. This one I can do, I can just haul trees in here to make empty pallets. And we're starting to need them. And uh, this looks pretty good. This comes with the production revamp. Uh, so we'll think about that. Uh, this is that other firewood factory that I was telling you about. It does uh, firewood, but not firewood that works with any of our current cell phone points. Uh, this is Omatana's farm factory. I don't think we need this. We've got quite enough on the go. Uh, where's that thing? This is cool. Uh, it takes in firewood, and, or it takes in wood chips, and it makes electricity. I was going to set that up, but we don't need it. We got the BGA. Uh, our outhouse production, that we already own one of those over at the trailer park. Orchards and greenhouses. So this is the fruit and vegetable plant. And it takes in all of the products from our big greenhouses and turns them into other products. So I'm thinking I want to put this somewhere over here. Like this. Oh, and this also uh, produces, um, not compost, organic waste. And this would be a pretty good place for it, right about here. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll just remember that there is a companion selling point that goes with it. This is our farmer's market, and I kind of want to put this... You know what? I want to put the farmer's market not next to the big factory. There's our lawn and firewoods. Uh, that's our farmer's factory. Huh. What to do, what to do. Especially considering that we really want to buy the uh, quarry. The pit. The old pit. Where would we put a farmer's market? Because this, you know, if we want to get super technical about it, this is, uh, that's kind of a zoned industrial area. But we've got... Oh, you know what? Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap up the first part of this episode here. I'm going to say thank you very much to everybody. Thanks for coming out. Welcome to our new subscriber. We're up to 70. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you like what we're doing, leave us a like, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, uh, ring the bell. If you really like what we're doing, think about subscribing if you've stuck around this long. Um, 
help me achieve my goal of become a full-time professional farm sim player. Uh, if you like Minecraft, uh, my friend Otter, they've got an amazing Minecraft channel going. They've got three or four different series. Check them out if you're in the mood for that kind of thing. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves, y'all. I'm going to roll on and uh, break the recording here. And we're going to start. I'm going to do the next episode right after this episode. And we're going to buy some productions and do some stuff. So... We'll see you in a little bit. Maybe I'll do two releases this week.